Yeah, uh, we can hear you pretty well, though. So good. At good. least we've got that. I mean, it is an audio medium, so you know. Yeah, the video is only for uh, for those of us watching, which is only very few. <laughs> It's just us. we don't release it, so it's just it's us no looking problem. at ourselves mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Wes, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Did you have anything for breakfast? I went to the Dunkin' Donuts down the street and I got myself a really, really big coffee. Hell yeah, nice. Hell yeah, just like a black coffee. Did you get like no, a no? Fucking... I got a, an iced coffee with two skims, a pump of blueberry, and two shots of caramel. Damn, Ooh, people sleep yeah. on that blueberry. Yeah, that's some that, good people stuff. sleep on that blueberry. It's great. Is it that yeah. good? Oh, it's really good. Oh man, I mean, if I was gonna sleep on a fruit, I'd probably sleep on a blueberry. You'd wake up stained. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> but it's small. At least it's small. Like yeah, it's, it's a, a tiny fruit. Yeah, just one, just one, one stain. From Vince the has just got a purple spot now. Hell yeah. I like purple spots. Mm. Well, uh, you know, we're we took longer than anticipated to make breakfast. Yeah, we do apologize. We're that. like, oh yeah, these sandwiches will grill up in like two minutes apiece. And that did not happen. But when you put an entire Thanksgiving dinner on a sandwich. <laughs> it's not it's not by way of friends, the moist maker. Wait, what? What the fuck is a moist maker? <laughs> Isn't that from Friends? I don't know what that is. You're gonna have to give us some more details. It's just a sandwich. Do we not have a lighter down here again? No. What the fuck? We got all these candles and no lighter. Do you? Do you want? <laughs> How me are to... you supposed to have ambiance? I don't know. The store for lovers. This <laughs> this whole fucking urn, this whole giraffe urn is filled with candles. Do you? Uh, do you want me to go find a lighter? No. Yes. Kind of. Are you really gonna light? So, well, we're gonna no, burn we, down. No, we have to do the pine cones first. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> the Avon Lady pine cones. The Avon Lady pine cone. The we, Avon Lady pine cones. Yeah, they smell like um, like a makeup vendor. They don't smell. It's like the perfume that they would wear. You know. Yeah, like cliche old lady perfume is what these fucking pine cone candles smell like. And I don't understand. Interesting. I don't either. It smells awful. I love it. We also need a copy of uh, Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> this all started with a fucking decorative dolphin candle that we found in Steve's basement. And then we burnt it. That's pretty cool, though. But the wick only went down this far. And so, therefore, we had to stop She's burning got a headless it. dolphin now yeah yeah it was it was a rough rough day in the <laughs> wriggle household <laughs> <laughs> at least for a dolphin fucking stay on it's all right yeah mother fuck there we go there's the fucking <clears throat> There it is. Oh, pine cone candle. Oh, oh pine really, cone candle. I'm really afraid to know what this is going to smell like. It probably smells like nothing. They probably just sprayed the fucking bag at Salvation Army and said, No, Fuck these it. definitely came out of somebody's grandma's house, and the house always these smelled that way. These actually probably aren't scented. That's probably just how the house smelled where yeah. I got them from. Does wax hold smell? It does now. Well, I guess it does. Never mind. That was a stupid fucking question. <laughs> Those wax hold smell. <laughs> there are a lot of scented candles out there that can give you that answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, but um, how long does wax hold that smell? That's the real question. Forever. Until you light it. I'd really like to know why these candles aren't pine cone scented. That, that would make too much sense. What if this perfume, what if we don't know what the real scent of pine, when was the last time you smelled a pine cone? Every day when you walk outside. That's not true. That's not you're not smelling a pine cone, you're smelling pine. the trees. You're just smelling stuff that's nearby. Yeah, like the pollen like, that comes from the things, the pine cones. <laughs> mm. You don't just you don't know that you're exactly smelling the pine cone itself. You ever just grind up a pine cone and stick it up your nose? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you that... ever just grind up a pine cone and stick it up your butt? No. What? Stop. I mean, what else are you going to do with a ground up pine cone? Uh, you could probably well, I mean, make like a potpourri nose. out of it. I prefer to, I prefer to 
parachute my pine cones. Oh. I, I when I grind up my pine cones, I usually snort them. <laughs> Look at that big boy. That's a whole foot. Is that a fucking cone. giant pine cone? Yeah. Is that what you got here? What the fuck is that? That's a pine cone. How'd you find that pine cone? Uh, it was in California. It's a big pine cone. It's a cute fucking pine cone. They were all over the is place that one in from, California. Yeah. yeah. I'm really glad it didn't grow feet and start to walk away. I thought it was a turd when you first threw it at me. <laughs> it's bigger than my it's fucking a big old boot. bear turd. Big old, I would have ran the fuck away. <laughs> And welcome to Breakfast at Stevenies. I'm your turkey, turkey, mac attack, turkey mac attack. Ooh, turkey mac would be good. Hey, mm, turkey mac would be turkey good. Turkey mac sounds yeah. Turkey mm-hmm. mac sounds smangin'. And as per usual, the <laughs> the host of the home, Sir Stephen. Hey, e. welcome. <clears throat> Hello, hey. and I'm I'm Bobby. The next Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. And, uh, Steve, do you want to introduce our guest today? Yeah, hey, uh, for the first time on the pod, we've got, uh, Wes Meadows. Welcome to the pod. Welcome. Woo! Welcome. Hello, I'm here. It's me. Attending virtually. It's me. And... Ooh. Observing all appropriate social distancing measures, Wes. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. We're happy to have you. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy to be here. Good, good. You're happy to be where you are? <laughs> yeah. Good, that's good. That's good. This is the place. This this place is a mess. <laughs> this mess is a place. <laughs> Nobody's nerf. Uh, my place is a mess, too. <laughs> this place is actually not as much of a mess as it once was. That's right. I did vacuum. I did vacuum the, <laughs> the well, felt table. That's good. Yeah, you fucking a. Bob did vacuum the felt table like a year ago. <laughs> that one, that one. <laughs> Within we, since we started this podcast, Bob has vacuumed the felt table at least once. Well, well that's yeah. nice. Yeah, this is uh, a. <sighs> You know, this was a D and D table, and we just hang out and talk about breakfast. Yeah, we don't yeah. even eat breakfast at this table. I don't think it'd be conducive this to is good. Listening. Just the post breakfast discussion table. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think last time we ate at this table, we made an awful episode because I was just eating bagels for a fucking hour. <laughs> um, I've been listening to the adventures of Danny and Mike. Uh, is that Danny Tamborelli and Mike Cimarona? <clears throat> of Pete and Pete, Pete fame. and Pete, and I found out that they do how we exit our podcast by going by. They, they fucking stole what? that shit from us. No, they've been going longer than us. Man, fuck them. Come on, man. They need to come <laughs> on our podcast and fight us. There'd be too many, way too many gingers here. Two? <laughs> That'd be really, especially an audio fight. Like, how would you know <laughs> how how the fight was even going? We'd have to put on uh, headset mics, like fucking Britney Spears. Do you hear my shoulders rubbing up against my mic? That's me throwing a punch. <laughs> you have to get like a set of announcers, like WWE. You'd have to have like people in front of the microphones describing every single move you make. Who, if you were to choose your favorite um, WWE commentators, who would you choose? Are we going Less. like two commentators? Yes. So two top, your two top commentators. Yeah. Oh God. Um, I don't know. I've uh, I actually haven't been watching WWE at all this year. I've been watching strictly AEW. Okay. Um, I know uh, Jr. and Taz were on WWE at some point, so I'm going to say them. They're fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have to go with Jr. and Taz. That's that's on point. I kind of want to go um, probably Jesse the Body Ventura 
Was he a commentator uh, at one point? Yeah. yeah. No yeah. shit. And um, maybe Gorilla Monsoon <clears throat> or Macho Man and Vince McMahon before Vince McMahon became a giant piece of work. Well, mm. he's probably that, you know, <laughs> probably that back then too. You know, I, I think my runner up would be a combo of JVL and Michael Cole. Uh, Michael Cole, but the, the the fucking the combination of the two was always wonderful because it's just JBL telling Michael Cole how much of an idiot he is for two hours, <laughs> <laughs> and so, Michael Cole just accepting it like the fucking Michael Cole he is. He's he's that little Michael Cole. Michael Cole just kind of looks like how you'd expect him to look. <laughs> A little, I, I actually. I, I've never seen Michael Cole's face, uh, like before now. I've always just sort of heard his voice, and I just looked up Michael Cole, like <laughs> sitting here right now. And wow, the dude just like, what a piece of work! Yeah, he he looks like, I don't know, he's the bootlicker of uh, WWE universe. I wonder if Michael Cole has a uh, podcast. I hope not. I bet he does. I hope Coach has a podcast. Doesn't doesn't every uh, white dude over thirty have a podcast? <laughs> well, fuck. Yep. I was gonna say, didn't we? Didn't we already figure this out? It's either you have a podcast, you become an avid cycler, uh, you brew your own beer. Well, there was one more, right? <laughs> you stay in a punk band. <laughs> that might actually have been it. I'm, well, I'm, this is weird. I'm two of four. I'm two of four. Right Steve now. was two of four. An avid cycler? <laughs> I was. I didn't buy the shorts. That's true. Close enough, though. Oh, you didn't buy the shorts. That's the whole difference. Yeah, I did <laughs> cycle to work every day. I difference. did. I didn't. But I didn't call it cycling. Look, I. I know you guys were talking about these commentators, and I just really got. I don't know any of these guys, but I. I had a really great idea that would help translate a fight into an audio format. Yeah. Okay. So you know those like. Do we tape microphones to our fists? No, you gotta you it does involve taping things to your fist. You know those those things that you get when you're a kid and you throw them at the ground and they pop poppers? Yeah. Well Yeah, yeah, the the wolf wolf snaps. Yeah, yeah wolf that's snaps. the ones. What if you just taped a bunch of those to your fist? <laughs> so that every time somebody punches somebody else, there's you know, sound effects. That would be really interesting and probably more painful for you than for anyone else. Yeah. I, Not you, but like the person who has the wolf snaps taped to their fucking knuckles. Yeah. I think you have to go black cats too. They're top of the line. Okay. Well, you know, this is uh this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to fight the guys from Pete and Pete. So <laughs> fucking Danny Tamborelli. I don't think the we other can guy. cheap out. Two fight the <laughs> other guy. Wow. We're putting the fucking challenge out there. Come on, man. I'm putting the challenge out there. I want to fight you guys he was in, on our podcast. He was in Slackers. He had a coat full of bagels. He's Wait. really trying to fuck up our pod. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I never <laughs> Look, watched we'll Pete move, Pete. We'll move the post-breakfast discussion table out of the way. And I mean, slow down. There's plenty of room behind us. I never watched Pete and Pete, so now I have to like figure out who the fuck this guy is. Pete and Pete. <laughs> it's Michael I've C. Never watched it either. I mean, you know. <laughs> so, so one of the people here, have you watched it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> say I have not okay. watched it. Michael C. Morona. God, I definitely want to fight both of these unfair. people. I don't know anything about this. I, well, I'm the re, I, brought, I just brought it up. I definitely want to fight this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how he looked in Slackers. <laughs> Vince. <laughs> you decided you want to fight him just because of his fight. face yeah sometimes you just want to fight people because of their face i i he's, think that he's that's... got that mark zuckerberg face <laughs> yeah. it's a fucking robot hello fellow humans he's got that michael cole face looking up. <laughs> are you a cole or are you a zuckerberg <laughs> i don't want to pick <laughs> either pick. that's rough Go with Michael Cole because at least he didn't like monopolize the internet. Yeah. Ooh, he did monopolize a soul patch though for a while. So. Also, Michael C. Morona was in Home Alone. <gasps> yeah, wow. he was um, Jeff. Yeah, he was Jeff. <laughs> He's uh, yes. literally credited yeah. as Jeff from Home Alone. Who the fuck is yeah. Jeff? He got, was... he got Buzz. He got Buzz's girlfriend Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> he Buzz's got... girlfriend. Wolf. Wolf. You got uh, Harry. 
Uh, and then you get Jeff. <laughs> Big P.